Hey guys, welcome to Pokemon Ruby. Yeah, in the last part, we uh, we started up the game and we found a Houndor on um, Route 101. Yeah, and so yeah, we're gonna put him out front, and I guess we're gonna train him real quick because you know he's only level two. And, you know. Well, the first thing we find is a Rolfs out here, and Rolfs like a rarest Pokemon out here. So finding that on our very first try is pretty cool. And uh, knock that thing out. He already go. He's already level three, which is kind of crazy. Knock out that C dot, you know, just a little more training. Uh, so yeah, things are looking pretty good so far for Houndor. Hellhound, awesome name. It reminds me of um, I wish I wish I knew the name of those uh zombie dogs from um Call of Duty Black Ops from zombies. I wish I knew the name. I would have I would have called him that or named him that. That would have been cool. Um. He's already level 5. He's supposed to be level 6, too. Let's go heal up real quick. He only has 2 HP left, which is not good, so let's go back and heal. Um, so... Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I want you guys to click like. Go ahead and click like. It takes half a second to do it. Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and take on the next trainer. The first trainer. Uh... So, yeah, send out Hellhound. He goes ahead and embers Zigzagoon's butt. Uh, okay, and this bug trainer. This should be easy. The stupid bugs. I mean, who would, who would train bug types? Who would devote their lives to training bug type Pokemon? And it's just so dumb. Why would you do that? And then there's this kid right here with his Poochiana thinking that he's all cool with his backwards hat and crap. And his, and his Talo. He needs to like really needs to change. He does not look cool at all. He looks like a complete a complete faggot. Okay, pick up that orange berry and then let's get this peach berry. Are these peach berries? Um, yeah. So one more trainer. Uh, this girl is bragging about her career and stuff and whatever the heck she should brag about. I don't really care. Um, sent out her gay-looking zigzagoons and I just take them out like. Like it was nothing. Hellhound just like eats them like dog food and then you pick up that potion. I'm kind of narrating this like uh, Wi Fi battle sort of. Yeah, kill that C dot. Um, let's go heal real quick. Uh, so yeah, we're in the first town, Petalburg, I mean the first city, Petalburg City. Uh, the previous two towns, I mean the previous two places we've been in were towns and routes and stuff like that. So this is the first city. And this is the first gym we'll ever be in, even though we can't take on the gym leader, which is our dad quite yet. He can still come in, of course, but we can't do anything here yet. And then this kid Wally walks in, and he's like, Well, I'm so lonely because I'm weird and I have no friends, so give me a Pokemon. And my dad has to be like the soft guy he is, and he's like, Oh, you're sure to take this Pokemon, and I'm going to make my my own son your slave and make him go watch you go catch a Pokemon, which makes no sense. But whatever, let's just do it. So yeah, Wally has to come take us over here, just so we can go catch a Pokemon. Takes us in the grass. Heroic Pokemon hide the tall grass like this, don't they? Yeah, watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! It's a Rolts! And you know what's funny is Rolts can't even attack you, so... Why would you be scared of it? I remember one time I was playing this game and um, his Zigzagoon got a critical hit. <laughs> it was funny. So yeah, let's just head over here and continue on. And there's a couple trainers over here on the beach. This guy is running around, leaving footprints and stuff. Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun! Yeah, I'm glad you're having a lot of fun with that. Let's just knock out your Pokemon and see how much fun you have then. Oh, Taylor, why do you have to be such a jerk with your focus energy and all those crappy moves that you have that seem to do a lot more damage than if I would have used a Taylor, but whatever. Okay, two... two Four total, four more berries over here. Two orange berries, two peach berries. Uh, come on, pick faster, pick faster. Uh, okay. Yeah, then there's this guy over here. Sure, I'll accept your challenge. He's not a lot of money. I think I'm cool. Yeah, he sent out his zigzagging. Yeah, and we knock it out like, like Mike Tyson. You come in here in Petalburg Woods. We see this other bug type guy. A whole bunch of Pokemon. Go, 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 team! Sounds like a freaking Power Ranger guy. He's like, go, 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 go. 
we knock out all this Pokemon in one hit like nothing. Fabulous. Okay, I'll stop trying to impersonate gay guys. Um, yeah, so we put Tide out front because I feel like it. And, yeah. So, uh. Um, yeah, pick up that Paralyzed Heal. Because I said so. And. All of a sudden, you see this guy up here. This guy right there. He's in the green tuxedo looking thing. He's looking for his shrooms. Or, I mean, shroomish. Hopefully, not his shrooms. And then some teddy bear looking guy comes over here. It's Team Magma! Oh no! Okay, so, um, yeah, so he's like, he's all mad at this guy, this green guy, because I don't even know why. Who knows why? Um,. So yeah, let's let's take care of business. Knock this guy out. Let's let's get him to shut up and leave this poor tuxedo man alone. Um yeah. So after we kick some butt, some team magma butt, we can finally continue through here after he gives us this great ball of some sort. Um yeah. So it's a crisis and he runs off somewhere. So let's go. Let's get out of here. Well, let's heal up first. Yeah, let's heal. Okay, um, let's get Hellhound out front, and we can continue on. And there's another, oh, come on, you gotta be, come on, Shroom, you gotta be such a jerk. Okay, so we found this bug type, another bug type guy that has no life, obviously. Um, knock out his Nincata like it's nothing, or Nincata, however you pronounce it. Pick up the Ether, Ether, however you pronounce the dang thing, who cares. Uh, oh, come on! Exactly, you could be a jerk. Go play with your fur or something. Go do something else besides uh, trying to annoy me. Uh, more berries to pick up. Cherry berries and uh, orange berries. That's the other one. Orange berries. And pick up these uh, orange berries I just passed. Like I'm cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so then there's more items hidden up here. There's two hidden items and one unhidden item. There's a potion, a Pokeball, and a Super Potion. The Super Potion's up here. Wait, where is it? It's right, yeah, right there. Right there. Um. Uh, yeah, so then we get attacked by another Zigzagoon. I'm just making sure there aren't any more items. Come on, Zigzagoon, quit being a jerk. Being a fag. Come on, leave me alone. Okay. And then there's this one. Another rich girl. Lady Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. Uh, okay, she gives us like a boatload of money for just knocking out her stupid zigzagging. And then this lady comes out here with a shroom and she was wrong. Didn't mean to send Tide out there because this is not a very good matchup. Oh, come on, you gotta poison me with your stupid ability, huh? You gotta do that. You just have to do that. You have to be a complete jerk to poison me. So yeah, Tide takes that poisoning like a like a complete boss, and yeah, give him an Orin Berry to heal up on, and I give Hellhound a horn. I mean, Orin Berry, Orin Berry too, because you know he's awesome. He's a he's a complete boss. Uh, these two chicks sitting right here on a bridge, want to battle? Cause I'm on a bridge. Let's take out these two crappy Pokemon like nothing. Oh wow, two hits, two kills. Yeah, and this guy over here with his three magic harps. Magic harp one. Magic harp two. And magic harp three are all knocked out. And then there's this old lady over there. Let's pick up these berries cherry berry and lepa berry. Uh, yeah, and then we gotta talk to this lady down here. Because she's old. Everyone likes old ladies except me. So. Okay, Chesto Berry. Um, get that item up. And now we can run up here. Wait, wait, there's an item up here. It's like an X Defend or X Speed or something like that. Uh, I think it was X Defend. X, X Defend, I was correct. Because I'm so heroic. So now that we're here in Rustboro City, we can continue on and take on the gym leader, Roxanne, the rock type user. Let's go heal up first because, you know, everybody 
Everybody has to heal up. Oh, I was yawning. Let's get Tide out there at, out front because he's a complete boss. And uh, Roxanne is weak to water types like Tide. And Tide is just going to like blow through this gym like like nothing. Like it's nothing. So let's just, let's just send him out uh, yeah, there's this little youngster over here in this backward hat. Again, the guy thinks he's cool and everything, and he can kill his Geodudes all in one hit. Go to level 13. Our Tide is now a teenager, and we can continue taking out these Geodudes. This guy has one Geodude we can take out and one hit. Which, like, it's nothing. And then Roxanne is left, uh, the Rustboro Gym Leader, and... She's going to kindly demonstrate how you battle with Pokemon, even though we've battled about 20,000 trainers before her already. She still has to demonstrate how to battle. She sends out her Geodude thinking she's all cool and like crap. And he's like, whoa, look at me. I have huge hands. And yeah, we knock him out in one hit and a critical hit, which is a complete overkill. <sighs> and then we get 250 experience. Takes us up to level 14. Pass has to come out here with his big, like, Michael Jackson shaped nose sticking out. He looks so, like, messed up. He just looks so disgusting. He looks like this. He looks like one of those, um, those Easter Island statues. That's what he looks like. Hurry up. Quit healing. You gotta be kidding me. Why do you have to be such a jerk? Come on. But being a noob, but being a potion noob, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna heal him with that just cause, just cause, um, I don't wanna be a potion noob, like she is, I will not stoop to your level, come on, oh, come on, I was that close to knocking you out, you have to be, okay, now can you die? Oh my gosh! I'm gonna be cocky, knock you out with mud slap just cause I just cause I'm ticked off. So yeah. Yes, and we go to level 15. And he's trying to learn by, but I say no. And um, so we get the first gym badge. Hooray! Okay. Uh, so she gives us 15,000, I mean, 1,500 Pokey Dollars in the stone badge and TM, whatever the heck it is. I forgot. Raises the attack of my Pokemans. She gives me TM 39 for my Pokemon. And, uh, Rock Tomb does 50 damage, has 85 accuracy, and it also lowers the speed of your Pokemon. So, I mean, of the opponent's Pokemon. So, yeah.